Well, folks, it's a good thing we're in the fall solstice. Can you imagine if it was summertime and we were closer to the sun? Yes, we are at our longest known distance during the winter months from the sun. I.e., this is Earth right here. If you don't believe me, let me show you where Earth's at. Because NASA marks it for us. Of recent, anyway. And yes, pretty much... Uh, pretty positive that it's also what we see on the other shot from the other side. So anyway, happy holidays everybody, and basically yes, we're safe and fine, but it's a good thing it's the fall winter solstice. So, happy holidays to everybody, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year's, and we'll probably have more data between now and New Year's anyway. We'll see how the government operates with putting up whatever they put up for from Sechi. Thanks to every branch to the military. Happy holidays to them. Happy holidays to everybody. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And this is the recent footage that I was able to pull up. So it's a good thing we're in our winter solstice. Solstice? We're farther away from the sun. And we are a little bit closer to the sun than normal in a winter solstice because the idea that normally we are one IU away from the sun and we are under one IU away from the sun right now. So I've been trying to make people aware of how close we are to the sun. Uh, of late, so the actual factual, the data is right there in front of your eyeballs, so it's pretty easy data this is pretty much uh, the easiest data you're going to get to see is because that's the sun that's our landmark there that we know of doesn't matter if it's Pleiades or what it is, and there's Earth okay, so now we'll pop over to uh, B, I don't think I had this shot uh, in the last recording that's why I made this video. I don't remember showing you the 21st with this. Either that or I wasn't paying attention to how much the sun was doing and what it was doing on the 21st. And I think this might have been one of the ones that was held back a little bit. Took them a little bit a while to. So anyway, don't forget to put milk and cookies out for Santa, kids. So anyway, and hopefully you got some smart parents that are actually letting you see what NASA lets you actually see. If you got a computer and you look up the internet, you can see what's going on out in space. we got beautiful telescopes out there. Soho Beacon, Sechi, Lasco, and it's all from all your ranches of the military and NASA. So anyway, that's Earth right there. I've already zoomed in onto it, and you can see there's a pretty good electrical flash here. Basically, more than likely, a uh, you can watch the sky area, up, space, space sky. Uh, basically, just terms for people to basically understand. This is space you're looking at, okay? It's the sun doing its flaring. Yet, weather meteorologists and stuff like that study what we get from space weather. And as you see, we're getting some kind of a quasar from deep out in space or a... Uh, oh, the word escapes me right now. Uh, let me see if I can remember it. Gamma ray, and then the idea that we got to start studying uh, how much energy, proton energy or something that we get in these gamma rays, because no matter what, you're going to see, you'll see a flash here in the redness. See that flash? And you watch this area. Just keep your eye on this area, because this plays pretty fast. You see that flashing that's coming up? It's not, see, that's not coming from the sun, but that flashing that you're seeing there, proton energy, gamma ray energy from a quasar or a larger sun or a twinkle twinkle little star well there's stars that are way bigger 78 times the size of the sun in the supergiants and then there's also whatever is up behind us as you see that coming in from behind earth from the darkness of space you see this flash come in and let me zoom in on that a little bit for a second so you realize that we've been seeing this energy coming in for quite a while and then go back to the watch all my videos Basically, I'm probably going to take in here and cruise through my videos here real fast in a few minutes to make sure that you see there's been tons of data that's been coming in. Data is these pictures from space, telescopes. Okay, that's how the physicists learn what they learn. And then you see as you get, you get that flash there. You see that flash? That's not the sun. It's coming in from somewhere else. There's stuff out in space that's larger than the sun. Supergiants. Study, this, study this, all the stars in the supergiants, okay? The sun is a star, okay? So let's go over to uh, A real fast. Anyway, Santa got a real big bag of, gro of groceries and presents and all kinds of stuff, so we look off into space here, we see the cowboy meatball. So, like we say, Santa's got some real big bags, check that out. 
people need to quit saying that they can see through it because you can't see through it. This all this star material is between it and Venus and the satellite. Okay, the telescope. So there's tons of room between. As you see, there's none. Of, there's tons of room between all the material of Earth over here, also in this meatball. And then we got to go back to the footage on the 18th, and you realize where some of those flashes of light are possibly coming from, that we're seeing get reflected towards the sun here, that we were showing you on the B shot. Now another thing is up here too is we have to watch the. Basically, you, you will start to see in the future footage you're going to see that the comet is on this side, just starting to get on this footage here because that's the comet way up there below it. It's just starting to get on this left side of Venus's, that's Venus there, on its side of its magnetical right there, and I'll zoom in on that real fast. So I'll go into 400, go up, and pretty much the comet is just getting underneath, hidden behind the magnetical, okay, because the comet, as you can see, it's kind of like, looks like it's wings left and right there, there is a comet up going that way, and basically it's shown to you, and it's basically C2012 DX4, because basically it's going to be seen for a long time on that side of Earth, out our back door, because it's going to leave out our back door, but way the hell out, as you can see, it's way at a far, far, far away distance, because even from Venus, it's way the hell out our back door, okay, so, and it's basically right down here. There's a star there and also you can barely see a little bit of it right where I got my cursor at. It's way the heck up there. Now here you're going to understand the light curvature of the sun. Okay, And remember this is just a blocker and they're getting a good look at the sun because basically this, they're doing one of their core shots that you see usually with the green background as you can see, you can see everything that's a star or possibly a planet way back behind the sun. This is coming from ACE, okay? This is Lasco 3, this is ACE, high H12, I believe, okay? Lasco 3. I could be wrong about that, but it doesn't matter. This is a Navy shot. Once again, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to all the branches of the U.S. military and also to my son, Junior, and my daughter. Okay. Merry Christmas, kids. I love you. As a junior, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And to my daughter, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Honey, I love you. Both. Evenly. Love you. And so anyway, this is basically what we're getting from there. And then let me show you the 18th footage. So here we are. So... Here we go from the 18th, and yes, you've seen this footage already, but it's just a prime example that something got between the sun, which is pretty much, uh, keep it going fast, and then I'll have to slow it down. We'll, we'll slow it down now. So we'll slow it down, and what you're going to see is it's directly in line with Venus on the 18th, because what it does is it shows up on Venus, and you never see it at any other time except for on the 18th. You see that right there. And I think maybe there's one more, a couple more shots I can get of it, because basically it's up in front of, and then we end up seeing that there's also, I've already showed that in my videos, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse, because there's a small, something like Mercury or something that's was between there, but there's also the larger thing, which is basically that size there, and get it to its fullest, and it's not Venus, it's basically something that blocked the sunlight, when it got up by the sun, that's pretty much the same size as Venus because it, everything out there in space from light from the sun and everything puts off the same size shadow of what it is. So there's something up between the sun and Venus on the 18th that's that huge. Almost the same, actually probably bigger than Venus when it comes down to it because this is the luminosity of Venus on its magnetical line. This is something that was in front of the sun that did that sun blocking that's actually probably bigger than Venus, pretty much, because that's the size of it. It's bigger in blackness than what it is in the luminosity of Venus, so it's probably bigger than Venus. And it's between the sun and Venus, directly in line, transit, 
And then the Venus and Saturn were transit on like I think the 21st. And I've showed you shots of that. So then I'll speed this back up again. You got the meatball there. Remember it stays tight and stays away from Earth because you've seen Earth flashing over here before. And then you'll also, I'll re-show you what's probably more than likely giving us that light that we're seeing on the other shot that I showed you today of the 21st. Off of B, I think it was. But let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Or at least step it until we get our big meatball up there that's probably doing the... Because it's the second blockage. So there actually might be two of them, too, since the idea that the sun did get blocked twice in this shot. There's definitely stuff up by the sun that that's that it's that side. Now we've got to reverse this, and we'll go up and see if we. And there we got it. So basically, this huge. And yes, you have to remember that Earth was actually over here, and I didn't realize it because it's between this meatball and this other meatball that you'll see when I speed the footage up. So no matter what, this meatball here is up there also, as you see way the hell up there. Okay. Uh, we'll go in custom real fast. We'll go 888 on that. And big things like that is just like my big heart. So the idea I want to say Merry Christmas to my son and daughter one more time, Junior and my daughter. I love you both. And that huge find right there. It can't be hidden much anymore. NASA can't lie about this. It's all in the data. It's all in the pictures. It's right there. It's something that's huge and it's up there. And if not, we already know the electrical that I know. Is it electrical? No, not a curvature like that. There's something actually there way back in the deepness of space, okay? So, let me get rid of that for a minute, and you can see that that's there. We'll minus down real fast. We'll hit 400. We'll minus down from that. You know that we're at the shot where we're at. And I've been re repeating showing this and everything like that, but it's all scientific, actual, factual. Okay, this stuff is all out there. That's the date, that's the player, it's sketchy, it's no fake bake here. On the human beings on the face of the earth will do fake bake and do shows and stuff like that in public. Try to pull stuff off to take your constitutional rights and your weapons away from you. But uh, anyway, honesty and truth 24 7 here. And let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and hit play, I think. And we'll speed it up, I think, probably. And actually, what I'll do is I'll just refresh real fast. So we're in here playing this again. And remember, Earth was actually over here because basically this meat, big meatball moves pretty damn fast. But at the same time, I've shown you the meatball and a lot of other stuff in this because it's real busy. There's a lot of stuff going on in this shot. And it's a whole 24 hours, I think, that they gave us. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell because they skip some time real fast. So mm, you got to watch the clock. got to watch those hours tick off. And then they jump, so the idea, there might be some action that, some, that they even hid from us on this shot. Okay? So, you got to slow it down and watch it hour by hour. I'll try to do that in a future video, because we also have one that they turned the satellite over on another shot. So the idea, let me get back over and show us the freshest on the 21st of this. Now, where I just showed you the second meatball, it's still basically up there, but it's hidden in the darkness of space, you see? And then the whatever we have had, the object or objects that are large, probably larger than Venus for the scientific fact of the shadow that was cast on Venus, whatever transited between Venus and the Sun, and remember Venus and Saturn transited on the 21st. And yes, this is Earth down there, and that's our electrical magnetical, okay? Spitting back at... Uh, the sun just as much as it's spitting at us as I was showing you from the B-side footage. This is Ace. That's the meatball. And there's plenty of space. We're safe as hell. Don't worry about Earth. This thing has been around for ages we've been seeing on this on Soho. Been plenty of people seeing it on Soho. It's been well hidden by NASA. They couldn't hide it in these shots and they have to keep an eye on what's going on in space because all of this stuff is very scientific, factual, dramatic. This is weather of space. And they can't hide these huge objects that are out there anymore. And there's also more planets in our solar system, proven of lately by the videos, and I'll keep hammering the truth home about this stuff's out there. There's nothing to be... There's nothing grave importance of secrecy of the nation to hide this information. This is space. Astronomy at its very best. At its very best. Great telescope action. Every branch of the U.S. military. Great. Awesome stuff. Now this is the other side of space, this is B, and this is where I sh originally showed you the electrical flash that you're getting from more than likely something huge out from behind Earth. 
It actually doesn't even really look like the huge object that I found you. So basically it's something very huge. It's way the 